Okay, welcome to this Q and A. Thanks for being here, Catherine and Tusa. Um, you were just asking me something really beautiful there, Catherine. Which is, do you want to remind us the question, please? Yes, just how you came up with this, and I'm just I started doing the. I think I came in about midway when you were doing the warm up, I guess. And it was very interesting how it affected my body and made my body feel a lot better, even my digestive system. So I was very curious as to how you came up with this. Yeah, I'd love to chat about that. Um, this is about eight years ago. I had a. Uh, Wait, you know what, Keith? I'm sorry. I think that background noise is interfering because it keeps kind of cutting you off muted. on my end. I just muted you, sir. I noticed that as well. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, about eight years ago, I, I was in a deep meditative trance-like state, and I just, my body surrendered for the first time really ever, I could say. And in, into this deep state of animalistic intelligence, and my body quaked and it tremored and it cathartically stretched, which I now know is a kind of like pendiculation, and and it somatically moved and it felt like a discharge of trauma from when I was a little boy. Like so much happened over a few hours there that I ended up. Uh, feeling very reborn the next day and moved. It's like, wow, this, whatever that was, was amazing. And in, in the moment, my only kind of reference was like exorcism movies I've seen, which they painted out to be horror and scary, but I knew intuitively that nothing about that was scary. It was the most blissful thing to me ever to purge and release all this energy is holding on to. Building up to that, I'd been doing heaps of yoga, and I, I noticed my yoga practice really plateaued for quite a while. And after this experience, I, I realized that it was because I hadn't been touching on the trauma la layers of the body. And this really started for me to dissolve old trauma that I didn't even know I had. I don't think most, a lot of people are aware of the kind of energies that get stuck and often the the stuff we're holding on to. So, yeah, that was the birthing of it from there. I'm trying to make it kind of a long story short-ish. From right. there, I just started experimenting with it in my own current practices of yoga and Qigong. I eventually, I started sharing it with friends in my own unique exploration. And from there, I got good at teaching it in a way. Of, I was like having people access it too from how I was guiding them. And then um, started doing more formal classes and workshops and people wanted to uh, ask me to share it too so that stimulated the teacher training I now um, I run and yeah and it's been an eight-year evolving journey and I've published some really beautiful content and courses like the beginners course which is free in the school community please join it Catherine I think or I think you might have to get to this call probably and um yeah. and uh yeah and there's that free beginners course and then i created the intermediate course and then there's things like the members portal and teacher training just tons of content to help people access it this and really um, my goal is bring people into animalistic homeostasis again where we're like a wild animal and we're we're like that <laughs> playful spontaneous kid again yeah, it's a little bit about that. Thanks That's for coming. To on oh. Sorry. Yes, absolutely. Mm. Freaking amazing, dude. I mean, wow. So you you're now recruiting teachers that can teach this. I don't know therapy out in the world. Yeah, yeah, I've been doing that for many years now and still wow. doing it. Um, yeah, and probably have about 
think around 60, 70 teachers, no, something like that. That's fantastic. Well, mm -hmm. two quick things to share is I had a very traumatic, horrible car accident literally a week after my 21st birthday many, many years ago. And I then ventured into, I'm a body worker. I do massage. I'm a certified massage therapist. And I just completed a certification for Bowen work. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but mm. a lot of what you're saying is exactly what Bowen does, but from a practitioner standpoint, like there's two people involved, not just the shaking that you're teaching. It's another form of body work. And we work with the sympathetic from the parasympathetic to the sympathetic, whatever it is that takes you away from the fight or flight into the more calming works with the fascia, brings the body back into homeostasis, all the things that you were saying. So this is really amazing. Oh, but back to my car accident. Um, when I was in massage school, I had to receive craniosacral as part of my training. And I got a session in that and relived the whole car accident. So I know what you're saying about how the body holds trauma. And not only have I lived it myself and experienced it myself, but that's, as you said, very a good great way of just releasing things purging things and letting your body just naturally purge the trauma that we have just on a daily basis it's not doesn't need to be a horrific trauma but this is fascinating man good for you very exciting for, stuff i like to think good for us because it's yeah it's not i don't want it to be all about me yeah, it's about helping the world remember this and I love what you said about Bowen therapy. It is, it's very complementary to any really somatic modality and Bowen therapy is, is that kind of thing and a very powerful Bowen therapy. And one of the, the key things that I feel I found is important with, um, which kind of in a way distinguishes what we're doing a bit from what a lot of things out there are doing is that one of our primary goals is to empower people to awaken this from within and heal from within and to, right. to develop their own personal practice with with earning this on and using it in their life. Whereas there's a lot of practices out there that do, and, and it is important to sometimes first be with someone to really support you at that level. So. It's very important. I've noticed there's a lot of practices out there that, especially like in the Kundalini world, and it sounds like maybe Bowen is a bit like this, where it's, it's a lot about the facilitator facilitating this kind of awakening or discharge for the person. But what yes. I've seen is that they're never really like empowering the person to do it on their own. And, and that's, um, in my eyes, very important because ultimately we want all humans to be empowered and, and able to not rely on someone else to do this kind of healing for them. Because, I mean, it's it's good, it's a good business model, but it's not like sure. It's not, um, yeah, it's not ultimately. Uh, yeah, necessarily you have to empower. embody it yourself. Yes, yes, yeah, I, I agree with that. And I, I would say though that at least in my fledgling experience of just completing mm -hmm. the Bowen, that it's more of I think you touched on this a facilitator. So, but yes, it's facilitating someone to heal on their own level. But you're mm -hmm. shaking stuff. Wow. I mean, just like I said, doing the beginning part really woke up some uh, things to heal in my own body. So I see what you're talking about that. Well, in massage, I'm literally forcing the body to relax, you know, by working the muscles and working the muscles, which is great and therapeutic. But in a modality like Bowen and in your shaking technology takes it even further of the body, as you said, going into homeostasis and healing itself. 
So this is so exciting. Good stuff, yeah. man. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for joining. And, um, I feel your excitement. It's great. Um, yeah. yeah. I can't wait to get on your website and just look around a good bit. Yeah, do my, um, in that free community, there's my beginner's course for free. I, I could recommend that as a, a next step for you. I'll I definitely you check that out. That's already, you see? Sorry if I'm still pronouncing your name wrong, brother. Um, I think you completed it, haven't you? The beginner's. Keith. Hey, how are you? Hi. I'm great. I'm great. I'm just driving and feeling into what you're talking about. And I, I started the intermediate course and I've oh, been doing yeah. the second class now. And the second class was really amazing for me. Like, I'm like, wow, how, how <laughs> far can this stuff go? Like, uh, like just really amazing working with the eyes and the mm -hmm. pelvis. You're on class two out of 15, and you're already saying how how far can this stuff go? <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really, and how you talk about the babies and dogs when they're sleeping. It's, I think it's really important that we really understand, because uh, often as humans, mm. we don't understand what's happening in these situations, and that we, we have this instinctive, ability to heal and especially the the babies and the dogs you know, or or the animals that are not not still in the mind so i think uh, all that is yeah, it's, it's a really good way like how you're teaching also oh thank you thank you i'm trying to i'm teaching it yeah from a place of having embodied it myself on a very deep level and um what's authentic to me you know it's it's a creation that we're creating together and it's constantly evolving and getting better it's not stuck and stagnant quite much like the tremor and it's supposed to move through us so is the evolution of this it's it's learning it's growing it's getting better and i'm creating so much new stuff and finding the members in so many ways yeah. yeah you know when i'm listening to you now it's interesting to get into this dialogue what comes to me is this question that because i i really feel that this is a time where our beautiful planet like mother earth and the earth consciousness is, is awakening and when you talk about nature connection for me the primary thing is our body because our body is is the mother earth, basically mm, and, totally. and, and you know <laughs> It's like some people like you seem to have uh, like a deeper connection. So it's, it's almost like Mother Earth speaking through you and you're getting first this connection, this download into this deeper level of, of body awareness. And then you can share it with others. It's, it's like, yeah, it's, it's magical. How do you feel? Like? Do you feel it's like that for you? Yeah, I mean that that resonates. Like I'm, I feel like I've been in a. I'm very blessed to have such experiences, and then also be so inspired to create what I've created and share it with the world. So thank you for seeing me. Thank you for seeing that. And you know, there's certainly other people who've embodied this to such a deep level and. In the past, especially, um, surely there's some in the present as well. There's, yeah, but um, yeah, we're 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 a movement. We're coming in strong, and we're already one of the top, let's say, checking modalities in the whole world. That, that is only, really, only a handful, but we're already, we're already the, like, yeah, growing. It was beautiful, and this new project of the school community, which you're literally like, you like, saw the leaves the top of it, and they made the most contributions and stuff. So thank you for that. And um, it's a big. I feel this is a big part of it. This um, school community, because it's 
offering people to get to that earth stage of embodiment completely for free and it's allowing us all to come and connect and talk about this and so yeah please if you haven't you know anyone watching this back if you haven't join it and be a part of it and um help me let me help you get to animalistic homeostasis and beyond even so yeah reach out yeah that was very well said I agree very much with the way he put things. Yeah. One thing that comes up to me is also like, uh, you know, for me also, like my body started healing itself in this involuntary way, like, I don't know, almost maybe nine years ago, but uh, I never, I never kind of found like a, like a real, teaching or someone like a guide who could show me also more. And I've been trying different things like TRE and, and so I'm kind of wondering like what do you see kids, like what's the difference in shaking medicine compared to like TRE or maybe, you know, like the Quakers or, or these other, other practices where you also do the shaking? Yeah, thanks. That's a great question. And um i i see well for those who don't know tre is trauma release exercises it's the other big shaking modality that exists in the world i didn't know about it when i started started this or had my experience i found it down the road and subsequently even i've even collaborated with them on things but um the main difference is, well, let's start with the main similarity, which is that we're two modalities, two of very few in the whole world that explore therapeutic tremoring as a focal point of our practice. Uh, kind of in a way, like, I mean, that's a, obviously a massive similarity, but it, it kind of ends there because very much the way we go about it seems to be quite different um theory especially traditionally has been very kind of military focus it's like here's exercise one through seven and all the teachers have to teach it that way and it's it's doesn't hasn't really brought in much of the spiritual aspects of say <laughs> models like yoga and it it's kind of rigid in the sense of how it needs to be taught but um we yeah. know that it can be like with shaking medicine the big difference is i'm basing it on like core principles that allow myself and my teachers to be very creative with it um i, I really believe just as the tremoring moves us differently every time we tune into it there's equally infinite ways to explore sharing it like teaching a class and and coming into it and and so we're really looking at the richness of all the possibilities of how to explore it and different ways to apply it to life another big difference is that i think theory it says it in the name trauma release exercises it's focused on it's focused more on that stuff that we need to let go of with the trauma and and so it's often working with people in like more focused on people with like severe PTSD. Yeah, I'm kind of generalizing a bit here, but I think it, yeah, it seems to lean more that way. Whereas shaking medicine, it is about that, what, what, you know, we need to let go of because that's a very important part of the process. But I also focus on like, what can we use this to cultivate? You know, what we love to do in our life, cultivate our potential and also focusing on that, that aspect of coming into vibrant health and that animalistic homeostasis state. So I'd say for me, those are some of the differences. And I want to say as well that I have another call starting in just two minutes. So I'm going to have to get off on time today. Are there any last questions or comments in the next like two minutes that you would like to share or ask? And you can feel free to come to the next Q and A. Or yeah thank you kid i i have one question but probably you don't have time to answer it but i'd be really curious to hear like kind of as an inspiration for all of us 
that how is it for you these days like if you get an injury or maybe you have something really difficult that happens in your life like uh uh like a conflict or something more on an emotional level like how how can i like because you you've been working with this so much like how long does it usually take or how the process of releasing happens for you you is it like uh quite fast these days usually or you can i don't know if you have yeah. some injury, but you can heal yeah, much well, faster things like this well, you know sure sure i'll try to answer that quickly and brief, briefly i'd love to go into more detail but yeah we really have a minute left so yes i'd say short answer is one I feel like I've more or less reached that homeostasis state that I talk about, where I'm, where I'm kind of like quite in the moment. I'm very joyful most of the time, playful, spontaneous. And so, when a stressful or traumatic event happens, it's just I'm already in my center. If it takes me out a little bit, it's pretty easy for me to get back there, especially having embodied this tool to get me back there. And so same thing for stresses or anxieties, or if things like that comes up, it's like my body just knows how to use it to come back, you know. Um, Keith, I have a yeah. super quick thing to say is I have very bad ADHD and I shake like what you were demonstrating in the beginning of just side to side, side to side sometimes. And I guess it was my body's way of finding its own way to heal itself, just like what you teach. So looking forward to learning more. Thank you. Thanks so much for being here. And um, namaste. Hope to see you again soon. And, uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank Bye. You. Bye.